Alex, Caitlin, Sue. Uh, New York Toy Fair. Holy crap. <laughs> There's a whole lot here. So I did lately film <laughs> very late with my London Toy Fair. I already posted that one, so haven't seen any of the comments on that one. But if you guys didn't, if you guys skipped London Toy Fair video, which I don't blame you, uh, I was talking about the video I put out uh, last Saturday about uh, ideas for future videos when I have really no Funko products uh, to share or any new Funko stuff to share. Uh, Cause I'm gonna try to start saving money a little bit more. If you guys haven't watched that video, please go back and watch it and leave your suggestions in the comment section below. And again, I put this in the last video, but again, some people probably didn't watch it. Um, if you guys know, on the collection video, I said I was gonna do a collection, a video on all the completed sets, Funko sets in my collection. Would you guys like to see one long video or longer video showing just briefly showing yes I have all the Golden Girls I have all of this set I have all of that or would you guys like individual videos with reviews because the be honest the majority of the completed sets it's like four in a set around maybe a little bit more um, but I don't have that many completed sets in my collection so it would probably be around I want to say less than 10 <laughs> uh, videos uh, just showing what I have uh, so yeah, let me know if you want in like collection style or review style, pretty much, is what I'm asking. Anyway, let's get to uh, New York Toy Fair. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot. So here, it, it's not just going to be a want list this time. I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about all the new products, because I did talk about the soda figures in the other one. So the first thing, I'm just following, I went down uh, Funko's Instagram, and for some reason they did the Snapsies. Uh, before they actually started putting out the Funko products. But anyway, for some reason they decided to start with this one, uh, which is fine. So Funko is going to start trying to review, trying to get to a younger age group, which to me makes sense. A couple years ago, uh, Funko was doing very, very well. I mean, they're still doing well. Um, but nowadays, it's more like they're appealing to older people, like young adults and adults. Uh, but years ago, Funko was winning Toy of the Year rewards. They made Toy of the Year rewards with Pops, with Mystery Minis. Uh, but they haven't been doing that in the past couple years. So it makes sense to me why they would want to start uh, appealing to a younger demographic. So these things, unwrap, swap, and play Snapsy. So apparently they're like little vinyl llama, and that looks like a bear and a dragon. Uh, so there's going to be quite a few different little cute little figures here. My only thing... These, the eyes on these figures look familiar to me. And I can't quite place it. I know I've seen characters with these eye shape and eyelashes before. But I cannot, for the life of me, think where they came from. So I almost want, I don't think it was something that Funko made. I could be wrong. But yeah, they're strikingly similar to something I've seen before. Uh... And honestly, for stuff like that, the companies can get into a little bit of trouble by copying. Uh, I mean, they just went through all that crap with Masters of the Universe. I don't think they'd want to start doing that again, like copying another license like that. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be. But it looks like it's going to be coming with, like, stickers and accessories and stuff. This is something that a lot of little kids will like to check out. Because a, a lot of them, you know, like to trade and swap and you know, just play. So, if they market that right, I think it will work. I honestly do. I think kids would like it. Um, now we're starting to get into more of the pops. Surprisingly enough, I never watched Will and Grace. <laughs> it's one of those shows I keep meaning to watch because I know it was one of the first shows, you know, with an open gay character in it. Um, which is probably why I wasn't allowed to watch it as a kid. And then none of my family watched it. Um, but yeah, I do know Jack, Sean Hayes' character, and the only reason I know his name is because I just finished watching Visible, so, on Apple TV. If you guys haven't seen that yet and you have Apple TV, please watch it. I know it's a little long, but even if you're not part of the LGBTQ community, I promise you will learn a lot from it, and it's amazing. If anything, just watch the episode on the AIDS epidemic, because I didn't even know 
I knew it was bad. I didn't know exactly how bad it was because they neglect to put us in history books. But anyway, this is a show I keep meaning to rewatch or go back and watch. So maybe now that Pops are here, I'll finally just finally start watching it. I don't know. But I'm not getting it yet. Okay. Let's talk about Pokemon. So the other ones, the Vulpix and Mewtwo, you know, those are up for pre-order already. These are the ones that brand new announced. A pissed off Pikachu. <laughs> like the thing said angry Pikachu was rumored. This isn't angry. This is just royally pissed off Pikachu. I do wish that there was like some lightning around him or something. I think it would have been cute. Uh, Cubone is perfect. I love Cubone. It's my favorite ground type. This is a fucking adorable. <laughs> I want this little thing so much. Rata looks really good. He's got the angry eyes going on. Slanted eyes. Again, on a rat, but not the looks of Batman. I'm gonna keep bitching about that till the day I die. Growlithe, on the other hand, he looks a little muted to me. Like, the colors just aren't as vibrant. Um, and sometimes when you look up pictures of Growlithe, he does look this muted tone. But most of the time in the games or in the uh, cartoon, anime, whatever, He's much more vibrant looking, um, so I do hope that it's just a little bit more vibrant. Like, it doesn't need to be, like, in-your-face orange, um, but I do think the color saturation needs to be toned up just a little bit more uh, for that one. But other than that, the sculpts on these things look am amazing. I love it, although I'm just now realizing, unless there's another whisker behind Rata, shouldn't there be another ra another whisker? Or not, doesn't he have two? And I was reaching for my phone. My phone's recording. I'm an idiot. Hang on. <laughs> I'll edit this part out, but I gotta look up a picture of Radita now. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, so Radicate has the two whiskers. Okay, not Radita. Alright. Bungle gets a pass on that. <laughs> that was my bad. Okay. I'm just moving on to stuff that I want. Now, just to prepare you guys, I'll be talking about this one for a little bit. <laughs> be talking about this one for and it's not Wonder Woman. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my gosh. Now when the original Yu-Gi-Oh set came out, I flipped. Because I was so excited. I loved Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. And mainly because I actually learned how to play the game. It was a card game that I knew how to play. Uh, a nerdy card game that I knew how to play. Don't know how to play Pokemon trading cards. Don't know how to play D and D. Don't know how to play any type of strategy game whatsoever so but I know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh I'm not good at it but I know how to play it and so that just made it more inclusive I want to say so I really love this show and everything about it honestly so we have uh, Yugi which can I zoom in with a you okay apparently not so Yugi looks amazing it looks different enough from Yami you know, Yugi doesn't have that streaky yellow in his hair. Uh, and the eyes are different. And it's amazing to me, honestly, how Funko can create something. Because the Popeyes are just black circles. It's amazing what they can do with the eyebrow placement. And also there's this little bitty bottom eyelash coming off of Yugi's eyes. Just to give him a bit more of an innocent look. You can tell it's Yugi. You have no doubt in your mind that's Yugi, not Yami. And I love it. Joey looks freaking amazing. I love that it's in his uh, uh, Duelist Kingdom, not Duelist Kingdom, Battle City. Battle City uh, outfit instead of <laughs> Duelist Kingdom. I think that's really cool. And it was one of the more, uh, I think that was more f uh, familiar. People like watched Battle City more than they did the uh, Duelist Kingdom, I think. Even though Duelist Kingdom came first, it was the first season. Maximilian Pegasus is perfect. The little flourishment they have with his hand going out, the part in his hair where you can see the millennium eye through it. It's amazing. I love it. And then we have Black, Red Eyes Black Dragon. And <clears throat> since this grouping, it does appear that it is going to be uh, in a regular uh, size scale, which I know we were all bitching about the Blue Eyes White Dragon being in a regular scale, but honestly, because it is, I'm glad that they put Red Eyes with it. It'd be weird if we had, like, a little blue eyes and then a gigantic red eye, you know? So, I like that. However, here's the thing. Here's my observation. So, when they made the original ones, it was Yami and Dark Magician Girl, uh, Kaiba, and the blue eyes. And I was mentioning why isn't there 
a dark magician, surely there will be. And eventually we did get one. Um, so now Yugi and Yami both have a dual monster character. Or a dual monster, you know, partner, I guess. Kaiba has his. Joey has his. But Pegasus doesn't. So that makes me wonder, are we going to get some tune versions of you, of the dual monsters? Uh, sometime this year, maybe for a con exclusive or, you know, just another random Hot Topic exclusive. Who knows? That isn't part of this reveal. Uh, it's very possible, or maybe even next year. Because I feel like they want to keep pairing these up in one way or another. Uh, so yeah. It would really be cool to see the Tomb World uh, Summon Skull coming out of it. That would be amazing to me. Uh, but then we have Obelisk the Tormentor. I always had to say it that way. And this is going to be a GameStop exclusive. This thing is freaking badass. All of the, the rest of these three that I'm about to show, they're all badass. All of them. They're perfectly sculpted. Uh, this is all con- is it concept art? It looks like it's probably concept art. I can't- I honestly can't really tell. We're gonna say it's concept art, though. But, <laughs> this thing looks amazing. It does. And, you know, it, it's one of those things that we knew could translate well into Funko Pop form, because, you know, there's not that much detail in the eyes, and that's pretty much the, me the most important part with the Funko and the head. Um, this is amazing. It is. They did a tremendous job, but... They even did a better job on Slither the Sky Dragon, which is going to be Hot Topic. Both of them are 6-inch. This is amazing, because when you saw... When we saw Slither in the anime, you know, we always see him up in the storm clouds, his body going in and out of the clouds, and then also around himself. It looked like his body was just infinitely long. You weren't really able to tell where he ended. Um, and Funko did that movement like honestly it's hard to even see the tail here in this image um so the way that they sculpted this is amazing it really is it gives that illusion of slither going in and out of the clouds and that is something that is hard to do and ah oh. <laughs> support saturday premieres in 30 minutes i need to hurry this up <laughs> but if I'm late, Tylock, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, then we have Exodia. If you know Yu-Gi-Oh, you know Exodia, because this was in the first episode. Even <laughs> if you just watched the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know this guy. Oh my gosh. And this is one that was rumored. The other two weren't. But these two have been more rumored. Or this one has been rumored. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Now this one's apparently going to be a common. There's no uh, exclusive thing here. <sighs> I usually don't buy that many six inches, and now I will, but this is definitely concept art. Now I can see the little edges, but uh, if they keep with this, with the shading and everything, this is going to be amazing. My only thing is, though, where is Ra? If they're going to do two of the Egyptian gods with Obelisk and Sky and Slyther, why haven't they made the Winged Dragon of Ra yet? In fact, look at this. <laughs> This guy even commented, no wing dragon of raw. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. But, uh, mm, I imagine, again, it, it could be a con exclusive. I wouldn't be a doubt in my mind. Or, like I said, with the pairings of the human characters with the dual monsters, maybe they'll make Merrick uh, one of these days and we'll get uh, the wing dragon then. So now on to something completely different. Archie. Now, I've never been a huge fan of the Archie comics. I didn't really grow up with it. Uh, I watch, or watch, I read a lot of the Betty and Veronica comics because they had Betty and Veronica meet uh, Harley and Ivy comic books, and they've recently they're doing uh, Vampirilla and Red Sonia meet uh, Betty and Veronica, so I've been reading those comics. Um, but I do know the character of Jughead. Uh, and Jughead is one of the very few asexual characters put into any type of pop culture. And for that reason, I am definitely buying Jughead. I don't care if I have to pay full price. I don't care. Money, what? I, I honestly don't care. Jughead is a very important character because he's a character that everyone knows. And he's asexual. And it's not something you see very often. And I love that he is there. I love that he just exists in comic form and now in TV form. Uh, I have not watched Riverdale, 
but I would imagine it's still the same. If I'm not, you guys can tell me. But yeah, this is amazing. I love that they made Jughead. Okay, and really quick, definitely gonna get Arthur at some point. N not DW, I never liked DW, I don't know why. Never liked that kid, probably never <laughs> will. But I loved Arthur, I loved Arthur so much. I used to uh, watch that cartoon all the time and I didn't even realize it was still on until last year when that whole thing went over the internet about when um, his teacher got married to another uh, man. So it was a gay wedding and a cartoon show for kids and a PBS show for kids. Uh, and that's amazing. So yeah, I'm definitely getting Arthur. And there was uh, an episode of Arthur that I think got banned when I was a kid that showed that Buster was being raised by uh, lesbian moms. They talked about that in Invisible 2. Uh, they didn't talk about any of the other cartoons, which kind of upset me about the gays in any other cartoon, but that's a different subject. <laughs> I love Arthur. Definitely getting him, for sure. Uh, and oh my gosh, I'm in love with these two. The Hades and Maleficent on Throne. This is gorgeous, and you know they're going to be fucking expensive. <laughs> Why is all the stuff I want gonna be the expensive crap? But look, look at the detail here. This is amazing. The only thing I have a problem with, Maleficent's hands looks weird. Like Hades, you know, he's he's doing a little show, you know. If you look at Maleficent's hands, you don't know what she's doing. They're just sort of waving there. She doesn't have her scepter to hold or anything like that. Uh, I think it would just look better if they just put her hands on the arms of the throne, but whatever. I'm not going to bother with the... I, th I think it's a diamond, Ursula. There's no diamond there, but I think it is. Uh, don't really care. These two, yeah. <laughs> These are two of my favorite Disney villains. I'm definitely getting them. Uh, I'm not going to be getting them or anything, but I do like the fact that they put the U.S. women's soccer team in Pops. That's really cool. Uh, okay. Here's the one that's gonna bankrupt me. Because, especially since the movie's coming out in June, it'll probably be around the same time as my hot girl statue gets ordered and gets fully paid for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Buckle down a little bit and try and get these things. But <laughs> So, okay, this is a... This, I don't know whether to be really excited or really annoyed, honestly. Because, it, okay, Wonder Woman 84. Okay, so first off, we have a brand new Steve Trevor, which looks plain as all hell. I mean, the original Steve Trevor, you know, he was in his army outfit. You know, you could tell it was Steve Trevor, at least from the gun and the era of the clothes. You can tell this wasn't just your, like, average Joe, I guess you could say. And I do know that this thing takes place at a more present day, uh, not present but you know in the 80s <coughs> which is why he's wearing the fanny pack but but there's nothing distinct about Steve. it's a people pop it's not Steve Trevor uh, I'm still gonna be getting it just get the set um, but yeah I, it's it's weird then we have Barbara Minerva which looks amazing the shadowed out cheetah uh, although I did see the leak of the uh, mystery mini I'm not gonna show it in case anyone else hasn't seen it yet uh, but I think it was on desktop pops Instagram they did an amazing job. I don't know how it's going to be in the movie, like how the actual concept comes out, but if that's the idea that they were centering around for that, it's amazing. They did an amazing job. I love it. I love the concept. We'll talk about it more when the time comes. But anyway, so with the rest of the commons, <laughs> okay, we have two, we, okay, let's start with Diana. So we just have one of Princess Diana you know, in, like, street clothes, which is that white dress I think we saw in the trailer, which is beautiful, right? Then we have two in her regular Wonder Woman outfit. And they do look different, a slightly different sculpt than the ones we got for the 2017 movie. I gotta stop and take a drink before I twist my tongue up again. <laughs> but especially with the head sculpt, you can see there's, like, a spot where her forehead peeks out between her tiara and her hair, which is accurate. Um, so I really, really love that. So we have a regular one of her, like, kneeling with a rope going around her, and then one with her flying. And then we have two 
uh, versions, common versions of her in her golden armor. We have her with a standing pose, and then her looks like she's flying with a flying base. Now, we saw the one with her maskless, without the helmet, with that golden armor that leaked a few weeks ago. Um, and I was honestly hoping that we get maybe one, maybe two different versions of it, because it's something that I've been wanting for a long time. I, however, I did not think we'd be getting seven. <laughs> so, seven of one armor. I mean, yes, it's pretty, but Lord help. So, I'm pretty sure it was the box lunch one. I think it was the one that leaked. Um, but let's go back a little bit. So the Walmart one is just combining the two commons together. Uh, we got the standing body and the flying wing of the two commons just put together. Um, the Hot Topic one looks the best to me out of all, all of these cause, just because it looks different. Now, if it was just this one and no others, I would say it looks kind of stupid. Uh, but because it's with all these others, the defensive pose actually looks really cool. So that one is amazing. And those wings going around something like that, not that easy to sculpt, trust me. So I really appreciate this. This one, the target one is just the common one, gold. And I hope it's painted gold and not just like chrome. Uh, Cause chrome pops are cheap. I don't care how much, I don't care if we have a blue gr chrome Batman out there worth hundreds of dollars. It's cheap as shit. Okay, they break really easily and I just don't like chrome. But yeah, I hope this is painted and not chrome. It's lazy either way, but also either way I'm buying it because it's Wonder Woman. Uh, and then we have the box lunch one with, uh, looks again like one of the commons, but maskless. And then the Amazon one, which doesn't have the mask or the helmet or the wings. Um, Amazon. Wonder Woman is an Amazon. You think they'd give her a more epic looking <laughs> exclusive for Amazon just because of the connection there? Uh, in fact, if you read the Rick Rorden books, if you guys ever read them, I think it was, it was the, what, it, whatever one had Jason and Piper and all those in it, I get the names of the two confused, but that's the one series that had, like it was the extension of the original Percy Jackson series. If you guys have watched or read that, uh, those books, you'll know that in those stories, the Amazons actually run Amazon.com, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, we did show the mystery minis. Um, I honestly not sure if I'm going to be getting those or not. I want them because I want all the Wonder Woman. Um, but it just depends on ratios and stuff because there's definitely more than 12 there. So, yeah. <laughs> but also Wonder Woman. I'm going to be getting my first Funkoverse game. Never going to play it, but I'm going to get my first Funkoverse game. So, <laughs> that's cool. I do like the cheetah one that comes in here. I'm curious whether this one's going to be coming out before or after the rest of them come out. Um, cause if so, if this is the first cheetah pop we get ever, that's kind of pissed me off a little bit. At least let the movie version come out. Let's just get a, like an actual physical, like real size, like normal Funko pop of cheetah, whether it be movie or cartoon, I don't care. Let's get the real sized one and then we'll come out with the little mini one that's meant to be like a game piece. Um, <laughs> just something that ticks me off a little bit. Chia should have had her pop years ago, but she didn't. Anyway, so now we're getting into more weird stuff. Let's go, hang on, let me just talk real quick. The only other pops, really, there's one, there's another flocked uh, Hello Kitty that's gonna come out in the Funko shop worth 4000 pieces or with 4,000 pieces not worth uh I'll probably try for it I don't know if I'll try for any of the rest of this because honestly I don't give a damn about sports if you're yeah you know, the ones that are in the Olymp Olympics I have total respect for because it could not be easy <laughs> I know it's not easy it's like a lifelong commitment so I respect them I just don't watch them because they're boring to me but the zombie ones I'm not probably will not be getting any of these it's just not my taste uh, zombies are cool, you know, sometimes, there, there are some things that I really like in zombie form, some things I don't, uh, I don't know, if they ever made a Grundy pop for DC that made it look this gory, I'd totally get it, uh, but yeah, I see what they're doing here, and it's really cool, the Deadpool one looks hilarious, and I like it, um, but yeah, there's, it, it's good, just not my taste. 
but yeah, I'm open if they make any other, if, when I see them, and if they look cool, I'll probably, I might change my mind, but for right now, not really. <clears throat> so let's talk about these. They're not even calling them pops, first of all. I think they're just calling them, or no, they are. Okay, pop candy. Okay, I thought, I didn't think they were calling them pops. This is really weird. <laughs> weird in a good way. It's something different, right? Uh, and I'm, I'm almost wondering, like, obviously they had to think of them around the same time. When the soda figures got revealed, everyone's first question was, is there really soda in those cans? The answer, no. <laughs> but, I hope the sound didn't go out a while ago, because... I just got a notification at the top and it rung. But anyway, it, it interesting. You know the candy is going to taste horrible. So, just like the cereal. Let's get real with that one. But the weird thing here, both the soda and the candy figures, I noticed a trend. We have Wonder Woman, we have Batman, and now we have Joker. Um, and there's another thing we're going to get to, hopefully, I don't, was it on here? I might have to go to desktop pops. Uh, channel or Instagram to look at where the hell is Superman <laughs> they didn't make a soda for Superman they're not making one for here I mean I understand people like Joker and villains are cool but where's Superman <laughs> Superman's getting left out and I feel bad but um this is really cool what I want to try to do actually is get two of the Wonder Woman ones, one to collect and one to take off the take out of the key take the candy out of that thing. Try it, even though I know it's gonna be disgusting. Throw away the rest of the candy. And then <laughs> actually try to paint over this and see what it would look like fully painted. Because this is a totally different sculpt than what we've seen. Uh and I think that would just be a really fun custom to do. I'd have to get some glass paint. I feel like glass paint would work better on smooth plastic rather than uh my acrylic paint. Mm, I don't know, I'll have to see with that one, but this this is a very interesting concept. You have a Facebook friend suggestion and it's my mom. I'm not following my mom. I don't even get on why do I even get notifications for Facebook? I do not do Facebook anymore. No. The only time I ever get on Facebook is when I need to talk to my comic dude. But <laughs> shoot him a message. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of these, and by that I'm not going to be showing them to you guys, because honestly I'm tired of putting it all around. So the two new lines that they're doing, again, for younger people, the Gas House Gang, which apparently are going to be plushes that fart and burp. Uh, it's weird, because the concept art, they look vinyl, but then they show the product and it's a plush. Um, they're cute. I understand the concept. Uh... But the Gas House Gang, it sounds a little bit too much like Grocery Gang, doesn't it? it sounds a little bit too much like Grocery Gang. <laughs> um, they, it, it sounds like they're almost trying to rip them off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just keep going back to that. Um, by the way, I'm not interested in the Marvel candies, just the DC ones for now. Um, but yeah, they look really weird. I understand why like, some little kids will probably really like them. So I have nothing against them. They're obviously not something I'm going to be getting. Uh, they look interesting. I just... That name sounds awfully familiar. And then we have the Boogie Monsters, which from the packaging looks like it's going to be little figures and slime, something we've seen a lot these past few years if you keep up with the toy stuff. Uh, I'm interested if the figures do anything or if they're just solid like little plastic figures. <laughs> Because the figures actually look really cute. The packaging doesn't. The packaging itself looks disgusting. But, and if I, apparently to get them out, you have to pick the creature's nose on the bag. I mean, it's gross and hilarious and perfect for a little kid. But the figures look really, really cute. They don't look gross. They, I mean, they look like monsters, but they don't look gross. They look cute. So that's a little bit of a thing. I'm wondering if they, like, squish, maybe, or something. You know, if they have, like, a rubbery feel to them, that'll be a little bit better. Uh, to make them more gross-ish. <clears throat> but anyway, I think that's it for the new products. Yeah. Except for one other thing, which, why isn't it on... I don't know. It's not on Funko's thing. It's on... But it'll be on Desktop Pops. We're already at 30 minutes for this video. Holy freak. So, real quick. The Twisted Treats Paka Paka... 
look really, really cute. I would love to have some. Never going to find them in my area. Uh, the toilet ninjas look funny and stupid. <laughs> I, it's one of those things, if I saw one, I would get one. Just one, though. Uh, I do like the ones. It shows a couple of them, like a ninja on the toilet with a magazine with a coffee cup on the back of the toilet tank. Yeah, that's me in high school. <laughs> but, but these little cloud cats, they're adorable. And the one that's like the one of the thunder ones with the lightning coming out of the tail and the really large uh, rain droplets, I want that so bad. That little figure, because I love the rain. I love the rain. In fact, when I was doing Unicorno Customs, I made a rain, uh, a thunderstorm Unicorno Custom, because I love the rain so much, because that one I really want. Boo Hollow would be the one that I would probably try to get as many as I could. <laughs> and again, the cat's ones look amazing. The black cat one there especially looks really amazing. So really quick, let me go to Distop Pops, because there's something else there. For some reason, it's not on Funko channel. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, come on. You couldn't have posted that much stuff. Okay, there we go. <laughs> So, Funko has these brand, well, they're not really brand new. We saw it with London Toy Fair, too. Uh, these little, or no, not London. It was uh, uh, ECCC. All the, I know it's horrible to see, but these pop size pins, uh, which look really cool. So, they're flat pins. They're the same size as a pop. Uh, ripping off fig pins. But... <laughs> But they look really freaking cool. There's DC one, so there's Robin, uh, Batman, Joker. I know I saw a Wonder Woman. It's not in this picture, but I know I saw a Wonder Woman. So again, Superman's getting left out. Uh, for and there's a variant of the Joker. We have that one's another Thanos, not like uh, different from the one that's gonna be at ECCC. We got two Lokis. We got Princess Leia, Wally, Eve. I know I saw Buzz. We got Harry Potter. We got Thor. Uh, where is? Where's the other one? I know there was more pictures than that. If I can't find it, it'll be no big deal, but... Okay, we have Woody and Buzz. I'm not gonna throw show it around. Just seeing if I miss Darth Vader. Uh, I can't find the Wonder Woman one. I know I saw it. But anyway, that's really cool. I don't have any fig pins, so I'll probably just end up getting some of those pop-style ones. But, uh... Yeah, that's it for now for... New York Toy Fair and thank God <laughs> that stuff that we know are gonna be spread out and if the licensing still hasn't been like fully approved some of the stuff may still go through we don't know or fall through so uh, we don't know but hopefully all the stuff I mentioned will happen so that I can get that <laughs> so anyway guys if you guys stay through through all nearly 35 minutes of this video I know I left out a little bit but it's not gonna be too far from that Thank you. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to go with this community, not competition. I'll see y'all later. Bye.